Hello, cadets. We'll get here or live in a minute. I need to double check the stream, see if everything's like happening. Joey, what about you? You got the stream up and running on your end? Okay, like, let me know if the audio is coming in from the video. So here, when it starts playing. So, I am your beloved Commander D. I got Joey here. And, obviously, let's... It is, the audio is on. Yeah, are you coming in? Yeah. Okay, good. Alright, good, 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 good. Alright. So... I got Joey, I got myself here, and we're going to end up watching Sonic the Abridged Hog, done by the Rolling Nolan. Quite the hilarious antics of this abridger. A very, very funny man. Very funny man. And if anything, like, I generally do love his comedy and whimsy. Without further ado, uh, let's get started. In three, two, one. We're going with episode one first. Location. Hey, Matt Barnes. Danger. I can't hear you. The brilliant robotic scientist, Dr. Eggman. That would be me. Hi, how's it going? And finally, a fire. Hold on, like, let, let me put your feet in my through my uh, headphones in Discord. It's still coming in through my speakers. Okay. Is the audio coming in from the video? Joey! Okay, something's happening on Joey's end. He's not coming in. Are you coming in now? Joey! Okay, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, for some reason, like, I can't hear you from my headphones. As you're coming in through my, uh, speakers. So that's annoying. Huh? Boy, oh, man, you, you have no idea how bad I've been uh, this for a while lately. Uh, I figured we'd try something different this time, 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 time around. Maybe again. No, like, it's on my end, not your end. And the video just stopped. What the heck? And the guidance out of your face. Pretty sure your nose ain't gonna get any rather. So, yeah, no, it's not on your end, it's my end. Like, my headphone set is not allowing Discord to be picked up. So I literally gotta leave one headphone out and one in. No, no, no. Your headphones are fine. It's mine that's freaking up. Ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. Daddy's gonna take care of that egghead real soon. Are you sure? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Crap! Hey, hey, watch Right! <laughs> Sonic's worst enemy! Water! That was a close one. I still have no idea what kind of black magic you pulled to war back to my side whenever we're apart. But I suppose I should be grateful for it today, Tail, but you're not Tails. Uh, no. My name's Chris. Sonic the Hedgehog has something alive. Good to meet you. Where's Eggman? Who's Eggman? Okay, you're useless. Bye forever. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Talking about being heartless to a kid. Seriously?
Like, I don't know how to fix that, but I'll try. Okay, so I see the screen. Show additional settings. No, that's not working. You guys have those here, right? I mean, you have to be as dumb as bricks if you haven't figured out warping yet. It raised its voice at us. Kill it. Ribbit. Resisting arrest now, yeah. Let's see how we can resist all of us at once. Trying to find the. Uh, no, that's additional settings. That's not gonna help. I knew I'd be able to catch it if I disguised myself as air. And I am going to question. What? Okay. They can still hear as long as they're not talking. No, for officers of the law, they didn't seem all that interested in helping me out. Well, is it because I'm blue? Yeah, the animation's gotta be a little bit more silent. So, what are you gonna do now? The animation shouldn't over or do the beat tooper. I just need to figure out if anyone else from Mobius got sent here. Like a little bunny girl in a red dress? How does kid know about bunny girl in red dress? It's oh, all wait, over the that's it. Come on, let me show you. There isn't much time. The monkeys have taken it's all, uh, it's the It's on the. the <laughs> it's on YouTube, Zen. Oh my god, I'm blocked! Pretty sure that's not what a bunny looks Is like. Is it doing Sorry. better now? Yeah. Okay, good. YouTube them fucked up. That? Government base. Where's that? Desert. Dangerous. Probably. Got anything that can help? I think my grandpa has a scanner. Grandpa, I'm taking your scanner. Sure, oh, that's fine. I'm not using it anyway. What is that thing? Okay. Oh god, somebody needs to put the eyeballs back in the socket. That was Sonic. I uh, found him in the pool last night. Your father says not to go in the pool unless you plan on drowning. I know. And people say a like. I'm cruel to my father, and my father's so cruel to me. When that kid's father doesn't even accept that, that, that he lives. What is it that you want me and cheese for? Yes, cheese. That's what your little friend is called, is that right? Yes, and my name is Green. And is that what you're gonna taste like if we grill you? And they say scientists are smart! Well, can you blame them? We're delicious. Chances are we probably taste as good as Chocola. I thought Chocola ran away to live on a farm. It was your mom's idea! Mothers do that all the time. Jump! Zoom! Jump again! Lie! Wait, is that fan? Really need to remember to have more of those on hand in case something like this happens again. Gotta love this video game physics. Security cameras every 10 feet, huh? A little excessive, but no match for a master of stealth and subtlety like myself. I'm practically invisible. I see. No, when you make a bunch of sounds like that. Flash is actually orange, and the clothing is actually green. By Jove, the human eyes have been deceiving us. We must make the parry! Yeah, 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 you're definitely a scientist there, fella. You're definitely smart. Oh my god, what an idiot. want to do it later. You saw the news. It's the beginning of New World Order. Oh god, they're making their move! What's going on? How we lose power to the entire facility? No running in the dark, people! Screw you, I can do whatever I want! Oh crap, sorry dude, didn't see you there. Come on, Green! Jailbreak! No! Our dinner has escaped! We're scientists! Are you sure? I was so scared when everyone disappeared last night. I had no idea if anyone else was sitting here too. You and me both, kiddo. But well, you know me. Doesn't take long at all for me to track someone down. Huh? Huh? I guess whatever he did to the power didn't last very long. Yeah, that's the thing. I uh, I didn't do that. It just happened while I was looking for you. <gasps> huh? Huh? Ah, okay, paper beats rock. Ridiculous. Were we safe? 
by the power of paper cuts? That can only mean... We need to get to the roof! Hey, what's going on down there? Why does the power keep going out? Do you see anything? My god! Paper has evolved to the point where it can slice through metal! It's finally an even match for scissors! The game is meaningless now! Yep! Paper okay, cut. How did that happen? I'm sure it'll be fine. And it looks like we're home free, Cream. All we have to do now is wait for our ride to get here. Really? You have someone picking us up? Nope. But all the help we've had getting out of this place was a clear sign that a certain someone was already here. And considering how it's not physically possible for that kid to make it here so quickly, the only logical explanation is the black magic is finally... Right when I bring it up, how does he do that? He's your sidekick. He's always on time. Well, it's actually a funny story, bud. You see, last night when I left for Eggman's base, I... Then the machine got busted, and next thing I knew, I was on this planet. Oh, uh, okay, that makes sense. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. But the thing is, if all of us were sent here, Eggman's gotta be here, too. And we gotta find him before he starts doing stuff. What's that supposed really? to mean? What kind of stuff does this Eggman guy do? World domination, world destruction, animal enslavement, human enslavement, copyright infringement, tax fraud, treason, workplace abuse, voter suppression, rejecting universal health care, making social injustice movements about himself, littering, and mistaking Puyo Puyo for Tetris. The Fiend! That's it? He wants to eat me and cheese. Well, cheese at the very least. Everyone got real curious after the chocolate incident. <laughs> that, 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 that's so. it? Maybe we can help! My grandpa is a scientist. He might I'm no scientist that literally had uh, over 500 times the crimes that Robotnik has in this series. Don't even get me started with I'll me here all day. I'll say hi to your grandmother for you. Well, if it was Eggman's device that sent us here, then Knuckles and Amy could be here too. Knuckles and Amy? I was there at Eggman's base with both of them by my side. We were all caught in that bright light together. So if it brought me here, it's Knuckle! Oh, holy shit. That's great! Oh, we can get a master shit. treasure hunter to help us out. What about Amy? I have been given the opportunity of a lifetime by having a situation where that lunatic doesn't know my exact location, and I have no intention of wasting it! No, you Thank you! Power. So, we should start looking for Knuckles then? I'm on it! Or maybe we could find the others by doing whatever Sonic did to find me and Cheese? Oh, we just saw you on TV. It was really a chance thing. I doubt it'll help us a second time. I wanna watch TV. I wanna see what kind of shows you have on this planet. Oh, I hope you got the Comedy Chimp show. Please tell me you got Comedy Chimp. I'm taking over your TV! Ah! Oh, hey! What? Oh! I found him! That's just about everybody's reaction when they see a fat mad scientist on the television. Man. From this moment on, I shall be your supreme ruler. And you are all denizens of the Eggman Empire. You are to obey my every command and worship me as a god. My word is now law. Got a problem with that? Please forward all complaints to my head of human resources. He's currently getting settled into his new office in Station Square. Really? Ding dong. Why does my happy with Miss Oris? Affirmative. Are Wait a minute, the robot's name is Miss Oris. And why does it have a guy's voice? Yep. This seems like my kind of town. Anyone on the upper floors? It would be rude not to say hi to everyone. Duly noted. This is gonna be fun. Hello, my name is Miss Oris. I possibly the pigeons. And he even says Miss Oris. Now then, if there are no complaints, I will now accept the unconditional surrender of Stacey Reminds me of that one vi a female villain from uh, Venture Brothers. Hey, who's the highest in the The monarch's the wife. I'm learning as soon as I got a megaphone, so I think I fit the bill. Ah! Pretty sure it's not physically possible to snap your fingers while wearing gloves. I'm the Supreme Ruler now. I decide how business works. Uh, it's it, 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 <laughs> people can do like it. It's just it's really so difficult. Over here. You know what Give to do. Huh? You miss with the headshot. You just figured that out? Just 
the same hour and you're up on my villain. You what? <laughs> oh. Yeah, oh, then that's a bad thing. Came all this he's a lot of ammo. But he's not accomplishing he's a lot of bullets. That should be more than enough evidence that stopping me is futile, and you should accept me as your ruler, right? Not at point, but I think we'll wait and see what that other critter does. Other critter? Yeah, the red guy with the boxing gloves who started running up the stairs a moment ago. Here I come! Rough than the rest of them! The best- Classic! Know, I'm not in the mood today, f*** it. <sighs> Hello, Nuggles. How are you doing these days? You really went overboard this time, Eggman. Look where we are. Stuck on some far-off planet all because of your stupid chaos control test. Aren't you the one who's always japping on about conquering Mobius? Why would you want to leave? Well, I mean, I'm not too picky about which planet I conquer, so long as it's conquerable. Just gonna start with so, the So, he's an equal you know? opportunist like planet to conqueror. Do and several others. Explains so, a lot. That's a bonus. Go Team Eggman. You're gonna pay. You're gonna pay for what you've done. I swear. I'm gonna get back home and fulfill my duty. Ha! Ah! Oh, look at that. Duty. She decided to follow me. You know, it's not smart to use an elevator in time of emergency. Whoa! Oh! Oh, that pink hedgehog's mad. Okay, you might want to hurry and take a few steps back for that thing, Brad. Grab me. Okay. <laughs> Why would you look at that, Missilerist? You got a new toy! Okay, prepare for or so torture or mistakes. <laughs> right now. Oh, harder, Daddy. oh, I've made a critical error here, haven't yep. I? Come on! What are you stopping for? I was a I think she's off her meds! Didn't you, right? Why don't you teach this bad girl a lesson and squeeze me harder? Come on! Oh yeah, no, she's definitely psychotic. She needs her medications. You hold a valid argument, therefore I shall comply. No, 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 wait. Wait, wait a minute, who thought? Oh, uh, Eggman had Morales. Nope, doesn't look like he's here either. <laughs> who thought an Eggman has a sense of dignity and morality in that regard? Face is too great. Where is he? Huh? Hit it, Crush 40! -na 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 -na. This is a lot tougher than I thought! Normally I give Sonic a ring and he destroys the robots immediately, but if he's not here... He's here! Sonic! Sonic. Daddy! <laughs> Punchy arm and Zork time to shine! <laughs> New toy detected. Oh, come on! Finish what you started! <laughs> oh, come on! Finish what you started! Nah, you're garbage. Okay. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him! Oh. Yeah. You let her! Keep firing until that hedgehog is a pile of ash! Do everything in your power! Do it just so they never sees the light of day again! Uh. Hey! He's gonna do that thing where he tricks my robot into screwing me over again, isn't he? Oh, come on. Yep! Ah, that never gets old! Wait a minute. <laughs> Classic. Everybody make it win. I should have just made it. Slam dunk. <sighs> Go on. You know what you owe me. Say Try it. Try like a baby. Say it. Ouch. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you. And the burning has finally ceased. Good to be free of the pain. Sonic, I need a spanking! Give me a spanking right now! I've been oh so god, she's on her meds again! Tails me on Go round! Go round! Hold it right there! Oh good. More of these guys. So, uh, I just saved your city. Not sure if you saw all that, but I'm sure there are a lot of witnesses down there who can vouch for me. How did you escape Prison <laughs> Island? Prison what? Wait. Oh, oh that's no, like wait, my mistake. Talking. Sorry about that. Had you mixed up for somebody else? Um, All right, so we cool? Nah, we're still gonna shoot you. Nah, that figures. Go figure. It's a fight these punks want, and it's a fight Run. they'll get. They won't last Run 10 for your seconds lives. against us. We'll crush these losers into a bloody pulp and find a way back to Mo because they, they did ditch them. Thing. Yep. Classic. I'm going to murder that hedgehog. <laughs> I feel kind of bad for leaving your other friend behind. Don't feel bad, kid. Knuckles is tough enough to handle those clowns by himself. Besides, it was vital that we took care of Amy as quickly as possible. Couldn't risk another second of having her off her meds. Your assistance is most appreciated, Sonic. Thank you. Oh so yeah, much. she had her meds. Now, she took her weed. I have misbehaved she took her smokes. Manner, I politely request a spanking. This is what happens when you literally smoke with a low cool, oh, cool J. Right. Knuckles informed me that there is a way for us to return. AKA Snoop Dogg. 
I suppose we've become accustomed to those emeralds acting as the solution to everything at this point. He stayed a dark Yeah, they not only love smoking them, they love smoking them. ...known as chaos control. We can most likely utilize <laughs> that ability ourselves if we unite all seven emeralds again. Well, you're all welcome to stay with us while you look for them. We're more than happy to have extra company at the house. Right, Grandpa? Not at all! Your parents would lose their minds if they found out we were keeping alien creatures here. You can study our tech ah! details as a lab rat for whatever science stuff you do. I'm expendable. Oh. All right, I'm game. Welcome to the Thorndike family, everybody. Thorn what? So hmm. just to verify, nice. this is everybody, correct? No other beings were present that night uh -oh. and found themselves transported to this planet alongside us? Yeah, Bat I'm pretty sure this is it. I mean, it's not like there was anyone else with an emerald in such an Eggman space who could get in the way of our ticket home. One. Right? Incoming. At least they were polite about their thievery. Well, never mind, we're dead. Boom! Ha! Classic. Mm. Well, you are a beauty, but I'm afraid you pale in comparison to the prize I seek. <laughs> Boobies, everyone! Actually, now that you mention it, I think I saw someone fishing at the nearby pond when chaos control happened. Maybe we should look for them, too. Nah. <laughs> So, Joey, this is the first episode. Let's give our thoughts on Sonic the Abridgehog, episode one. I'll let you go first. It was pretty fantastic. Just better than what I thought it was. Yeah, I mean, like, on a scale of one to ten, how would you scale the comedy? Probably uh, This is the first episode. I wouldn't rate it so high on the first episode you just saw, but I give you props when you did it that way. Like you're you're a man that enjoys a good joke. The reason why I didn't do a ten is because realistically I'd have to see a lot like quite a bit more to actually give it a ten because until I see it all I believe there's room for improvement. Yeah. Now once I see it all my rating might change or it might stay the same. Yeah, so my thoughts on this episode, like, the comedy was good. This is the, this was like his uh, first attempt in Sonic the Abridged Hog of the Sonic X series. He did do, like, the Sonic OBA as an abridged movie. We're going to have to watch that on a movie night one night. Um, it came out before this, like, two or three years before this. I will have to say, like, the first episode... To me, when it comes to the comedy, it's like, I, I, I would have to give it more like a five and a half and like comedy because like the first episode is not always their best when they come out with a series like this. And I just want to be fair. So we're going into episode two. Let's see what happens. Mr. President, we have determined the whereabouts of the terrorist who calls himself Dr. Eggman. His Mr. President! A small island in the Southern Sea. I wonder so how smart he is. He with robotics. We will initiate an electromagnetic pulse to disable his defenses and have our assault team apprehend... Where's the blue guy? Excuse me, sir? The blue guy. The spiky little fella that beat the egg guy up. Did you find him? Well, we've identified the boy who was in the passenger seat of the plane he escaped on, but our top priority has been the capture of... I want the blue guy! Find him. I want him to be my new pet. He's an absolute dumbass. Congratulations. He just hired another dummy for the White House. Hey, that's a good point. He did make the egg guy run away. Call off your assault. We're leaving Eggie alone. What? Oh, he's absolute moron material. Launches another attack. We'll wait for that attack. Grab him. Bring him back to the White House. It's foolproof. People will die. And I'll have my little Speedy to cuddle with on the couch. What do you think of Speedy, Jerome? Two on the nose? Not at all, sir. It's quite fitting. Why are you supporting this? Look, we had to choose between this idiot and the guy who f***ed the cat last election. EXCUSE ME! So just roll with this. You okay, hired- Hey, what if we sent an- They hired what for- 
I'm gonna press it. He had an election against a cat person. No, like they, this guy right here, had an election against somebody that freaked a cat. I, I, I don't know how to take that. I, I just, I just don't know how to take this right now. Other than like, um, uh. It seems the United States government has become, in this series, more dumber than our actual government. An undercover agent and, to befriend uh, the boy we saw on the that. plane. We could capture the hedgehog after earning his trust. Would you allow us to apprehend Dr. Eggman then? No, but I like that idea. Do it anyway. <laughs> and his agent just lost his goddamn mind. Makes sense. You must be Chris. I was told the son of Nelson like attended this school, but I wasn't expecting to recognize you so easily. Yet I see so much of your parents just by looking at you. How could I not? Oh God! Look at that <laughs> smug <laughs> face. Yeah, that guy. That guy definitely looks like a child predator. Kids DNA is nuts. No, I'm actually your new homeroom teacher, Mr. Stewart. I'll be teaching your class for the remainder of the school year. What happened to Mr. Dwyer? There is no Mr. Dwyer anymore. Yeah, he. Okay, yeah, he just okay, took well, Mr. Dwyer, put him tru uh, into the trunk of a car, what? or took him to the middle of the field, shot his brains out, dug a grave, put him in the grave, a shallow grave, buried him alive, and then put a piece of dynamite over it and blew it all up to hell. Chris. But you won't resist me for long. So he can take his Our place as teacher. Be quite yeah, this is definitely a predator. All of your goods will this is a child predator at its finest. Wait, no, bad choice of words, bad choice! Ha! Bad choice of words. You think? This guy can hold a better tune with a song than I can. Oh no way, something bad is happening. The song lied to us. Why would the song lie to us? Abandon ship! Abandon ship! Oh, what the hoo ha was that about? I don't know. The excavator just started going haywire. Who knows what caused all this? Chaos in downtown Station Square when an excavator. Sounds like a normal day in Chicago. Contact with a Illinois. Jewel. No one was harmed during the incident, oh, and the jewel is to be taken to Area 99 for research. Truly, there is no facility more capable of studying such an enigma than the team that discovered the true colors of flesh. Maybe a back alley of New York. I don't know. Dirty liars, I'll tell you what. Anyway, here's a sketch of the jewel. Oh, spit it, kidna! Ah, sounds like uh, what a girl would literally sound like at an NSYNC concert. Or a Backstreet Boys, probably definitely Backstreet Boys. Ready to drop the payload. Abort mission. It appears we're prioritizing pet adoption over capturing a terrorist now. Oh my gosh, we're getting a pet? Am I in the That's the gayest oh shit I've ever heard from a military personnel. This place sure is different from home. Oh my god, we're getting a yeah, pet? Still can't believe Eggman actually accomplished an evil plan for once. Normally, his schemes blow up in his face, mostly thanks to yours truly. I don't have a thing against gay people, it's just like... Wonder what went differently this Uh, that, that, this that was just the gayest the impression I've ever heard. Wait, what's going on? What have you done? Oh. It was because he ducked. Had to be because he ducked. It's not because I busted the machine. I mean... When is busting a machine ever altered its original function? <laughs> oh, really? You gonna play it like that? I have doomed this entire planet, haven't I? Hi, yes. Janet. Yes, you have. I'm proud of us. We're well, leaving downtown. Green said they found a chaos emerald there. Chaos emerald! Chaos, chaos emerald! Chaos emerald! Huh? for the rest of the day. See ya! We can just announce when we play hooky to the teacher? Maybe it's okay if your parents are famous. I'm gonna play yeah, hooky uh, too. 
Teachers can do it whenever they want. Look it up. It's in the Bible. Evan, you're in charge until I get back. It right on. Teach my own. Classmates, prepare yourselves. We you have stepped into the realm of all that is geometry. Okay, first of all, is that really in the Bible? I'm just curious. I haven't read it all the way through. It is like, can, te can teachers play hooky? Is that in the Bible? Okay, like, what do you think about the child with the man and, and voice, by the way? I find that erotically hilarious. Let's continue. Then he went to join the assault team, but got thrown out before he had a chance to speak with that girl. Oh, okay. So what happened next? Oh, wow. I remember so that right? voice. What's that in the sky? Is it Isn't that the voice it's actor from My Hero Academia Bridge? A plane shaped like a bird. Wow. <laughs> hey, we were both right. What are the odds that we'd both make an accurate guess from such a far off distance? Isn't that Dr. Eggman? Everybody panic! <laughs> Yeah, that's him. That's him. That's the guy that literally plays the guy with the tape superpowers. Mm -hmm. We'll have to watch that sometime. That's actually a good bridge series. I'm happy to know I have adopted one of his classic battle strategies for my newest creation. They can initiate boss battle protocol. Boss battle protocol initiated. Standing for weak point. Weak point? What's he talking about? Sonic doesn't have a weak point. Right, Tails? See my penis. No, they're gonna go for the nut shot. Oh! Not the nut shot. Oh! Oh no! They're off to deliver a ring to Sonic. My poor machine is about to be demolished. And the chaos and rules going to be completely unguarded. <laughs> Not the nut shot. I felt that one. I felt that one. Wow, so this is a chaos emerald. I thought they'd be scattered all over the planet. That hurt. One of them that just hurt. I felt that one for the blue blur. Holy just like Sonic. moly. And Amy. And Knuckles. Classic. Huh? Hey, give that back! No! Give it! 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 Classic. Sonic! Revenge or offspring! You know, it hurts at first, but when everybody hears the man's voice shrink down to the size of a muppet, give it. no! Give it! No! Give it! No! Give it! It is kind of funny. No, always wear a cup, cadets. <laughs> so you like to play dirty, do you, Eggman? Well, let's see yeah. how you like it when someone goes for your weak point. All of you know my trousers are reinforced with highly durable material from my planet that far exceeds anything you earthly. <laughs> <laughs> That scream! That scream! Classic! And he's still got the emerald. <laughs> Played! <sighs> and now my song choices are failing me. That's just rotten luck. Might as well save him. <laughs> yeah, you were gonna catch him in time with that speed there, fella. I suppose the kid's brains would have been splattered all over the street. Don't worry, Mr. President. He will be mine soon enough. The Hedgehog! I'm talking about the Hedgehog! Got the boy! Yeah, what is wrong Predator with alert! Yep, yeah, that is That guy's definitely a child I'm predator. And you managed to swipe it from Eggman himself? That's incredible! We finally taken our first step to getting back home! Are there any cheeses over party hashtags on Twitter? Am I good? I thought about sending Knuckles an apology, but I got no idea if he uses a phone with his weird ass mitten hands. Someone please tell me no one's gonna cut the cheese. Yeah, they're gonna cut the cheese, all right. How are you feeling? That's Twitter. Okay, like, that's wow, Twitter like slash that X. They, they're gonna cut the cheese in half. Really I'm sorry you had to save me after going through all that. 
I just wanted to help you guys out somehow, <laughs> but I was helpless when Eggman knocked me off his ship. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> they're, they're gonna they're gonna turn it into tiny little bite-sized cubes. <laughs> now that we got ourselves one of these emeralds, I'm gonna see if I can make some cool new doodads with it. Tails says a single emerald contains a limitless supply of power, so we might as well use that to our advantage. Am I right? <laughs> really? I wish I had a, a, no, uh, a limitless amount of power to please all the ladies in the universe. God damn it! Even I have a limit. Wait, Amy, what are you doing? Read about it online. I need a favor. Oh, come! Oh my! So, uh, the Thorndike juice thing. She's basically asking for a piss jar. Classic. So, episode two. Let's give our feedbacks on this one. So, uh, they ran into their first emerald. Uh, Eggman screamed like a whiny little baby bitch. Sonic got a nut shot. You better check those nuts, pal. Um, Amy's still calm as shit. Knuckles was nowhere to be seen. And we now got a child predator. Joey, your thoughts on this episode? No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. Give us your thoughts. But you don't like my thoughts. You disagree with my thoughts. Let's be fair now. I don't judge. I criticize. I ju I don't judge. I criticize. There's a difference. A judge is being judge, jury, and executioner. A criticize is giving thoughts. Well, judge is not actually that. Judge is actually being firm with what the decision is. That is what the accurate definition of judge is. I was putting it in a meme format. But anyways, just... Give us your valid thoughts on the episode. I'm being delicate with you. I want to just let you. I'm not going to push you on this. Just like when these reactions happen and you join us, valid criticism is needed to not only entertain the crowd. But also how all of the content creator make better content. Like Roland Nolan. I don't know what to tell you. Valid criticism or criticism that ends up helping the content creator along with giving our feedback on it helps them be a better content creator. It's how it works. You know? It's... It's our job to do that when we do these. That's our job. <sighs> Oy vey. I'm surrounded by incompetence. All right. Next episode. So this is episode three. And Joey. Joey. Yeah. And to end this episode, I want to hear or your valid thoughts. No excuses this time. Or your fire. Let's watch. Because it's our job! Huh? Eggman, you got a lot of nerve coming up to me after your chaos not so under control ruined my life. <laughs> yes, 
turn back up the volume. All oh, right, sorry. Yeah, that chaos control thing wasn't me. It was Sonic. He's a bad guy now. I'm a killer. How gullible. Classic. Okay, before we continue on with this episode, I need to talk about, like, the several iterations of Knuckles throughout, like, the... Like, throughout Sonic history. Alright, so, when you get Sonic from Archie Comics, like... He's just a pure badass. Knuckles has always been someone that's been a pure badass that very just resolves all of his issues with fighting. They brought the character back to its true roots in the Sonic movies. I'm not going to lie there. That's awesome. Like in Sonic 2, Knuckles came back like the pure badass warrior he is. Then you move on to, well, um, that, uh, like, that one Sonic series, uh, uh, I forget what it's called. It has, uh, what, uh, like, some badger girl on it. I forget that series. Um, Knuckles just is a complete moron. He ends up eating paper towels as a meal. The guy can't add one plus one, let alone two plus two. And even more so, for some reason, he thinks a fish is a literally a, a overall music instrument in that series. And that's just taking like, that is literally disrespecting Knuckles. And then you have this series that kind of blends the both of the original Knuckles in such a manner, you know, and then obviously, yeah, um, uh, bringing like the badass routine along with the absolute dumb personality routine and kind of blending them together and just like this m wonderful mishmash of like Dumbassery is how I'm gonna call it. Like dumbassery. Like he's dumb, but he's a badass. He's a dumb badass. Dumbassery. Um, and you see it in this show, and you realize that it's just generally classic. That's good script writing right there. Some unusual energy spikes have been detected at the lake in Silver Valley. They seem similar to what happened in Station Square the other day. Not that I would a know. robot voice. Sure There's no way this is like not a trap. Shut up. No one here knows what those are. Oh, good point. There's no way this is not a trap. Off to Silver Valley, then? Might as well just to see if there's really an emerald there. I don't know. That place is pretty close to where we found the first emerald. I doubt two of them would wind up so close to each other after getting scattered across the planet. Silver Valley I think Amy's off her meds. Yeah, she is! Did her head just fucking explode? Hey, what's going on? Nah, I'm good. I love it how they stay tried and true to Sonic's nature of not caring about a date. That I, I, I cause trouble when I get too involved in things and uh, need to stop doing that. So I'm just gonna not do anything for a while. G -g -g Gotta prove people can commit to new lifestyles when they want to improve themselves. Speaking of which, you take your meds today? Now get your sexy blue tissue down here right inside! I didn't think so. Bye, Amy. No! Why do you think she means by etc? I'm actually having second thoughts about going now. Too bad! We need that emerald! Everyone's in the tornado! That might not be such a good idea. Silver Valley is a popular tourist location, so a lot of people could see us, even if we do take the tornado. But we can still get there without being noticed. Remember when we hid from your housekeeper the other day? <laughs> yeah, it's a very adorable toy. Thanks, Ella! Holy cow, Tails! I can't believe you fooled Ella the entire time she was cleaning! 
You're really good at this. Is he gone yet? Oh, hey, Chris, who are you talking to? Sam. I thought we agreed to uh, not discuss the events we witnessed that dreadful day. Right, Ella, it didn't seem so. Oh, let's talk about this. So, that doll character is from a very twisted video game of a Sonic the Hedgehog creepypasta game. I'm quite aware of what it is. I will never play it. It horrifies me. That thing horrifies me. What? It'll scar you if you play it? Uh, no. But at the same time, let's just put it this way. Someone's going to have to pay me $500 before I play that game. <laughs> they're, they're, they're literally going to have to pay me $500 on stream for me to play that game. Only then, all at once, one payment, only then I will play that game. It will never happen. No one will ever pay that much money for me to play one game. I'll die on that hill. Let's continue. Fish and it. To her, it seemed like an ordinary stuffed animal. So I was thinking... Aww. I cannot believe how well this is working. Sunshine! I told you to pick a different catchphrase! That one definitely has some bad juju packed with it. Squeeze my hand to make me vibrate! Okay, never mind. Sunshine Sex doll, got it! Punish this naughty girl! <gasps> Mommy, I want one of these dolls too! Amy just punched the child out of the train. Huh. This place is actually kind of nice. Amy woke up this morning, chose violence. No! I find one positive thing about today and the universe immediately takes it away from me! Fantastic! Well, if it isn't the brat that tormented Paul Reggie. It's ignorant! You know you owe me a chaos emerald, right, kid? That news broadcast was Wow, it's like I freaking called it. With the main event, at any moment, Sonic will arrive here to do battle with Knuckles. The two are sure yes. to clash for quite yes, some time. My spell and once they've tired each other out, Sucks I'll send my giant troops deep. to finish them off. <laughs> How the heck did you convince Knuckles to fight Sonic? Don't know he's a bad guy, and now he's out for blood again. Again? Yeah, I've lost count of how many times Knuckles got tricked into fighting. And Amy's Sonic. got more of a smug face than I do. Eggman told Knuckles we were baddies. They team up, shenanigans follow. I wonder if that would make a good movie. Well, what about Sonic? He's not going to have to fall for that lie over and over again, is he? No, Eggman usually uses another strategy to trick Sonic into these fights. Hmm. Oh, look, it's the uh, character from Sonic X the Hentai game. Don't ask how I know that, I just do. Fight me. Okay. How to do, Nucky Poo? Uh, it's Boxing Day! <laughs> he really likes violence. <sighs> you think? Whatever, let's go stop them. I'm on it! <laughs> wow, she Where got tired out. Nope, never mind, I don't think I'm gonna like the answer. <laughs> You seem a lot more aggressive than you That was today. fast. You're not still mad about what happened on that rooftop, are you? Boy, howdy, look at all those little birdies flying around. Wait, that ain't no birdie. Ha ha ha! kid Amy punched and went around the planet. Listening this, but... Wow, Knuckles is good at deforestation. You ever thought about being a lumberjack? Yep. Chaos? Oh, he's talking about a Mobius deity, god of destruction. No need to worry. I gotta be a bit. Originally appeared Archie Comics. Now we need to find a way out of 
here before they destroy the rest of the valley. Did it. Huh? Wait, is that the wiring to the robot? Yapper doodles. Located yep -doodles. inside the container for any captive to open? Yapper doodles. That's not just stupid. That's like video game boss exposed weak point stupid. Yeah, I mean, no thing good at with the sciences <laughs> and the chaos. And I should be careful with how I handle these wires. One wrong move could be. <laughs> oh, What's that? That is so stupid. Hey, baby! Huh? Do you have any idea how much work it took to order my minions to build this thing? Son of a bitch, he took advantage of my love for violence again. Hey, you <laughs> you think? Did he just bail? Without admitting defeat? Get back here, I need closure, damn it! Yeah. Hey there, guys, what'd you think of Silver Valley? Absolute nightmare! And it only got worse when I showed up. See, being antisocial can be life-saving. All right, I guess we're changing strategy. Uh, what? matter of opinion, really. Emeralds. Oh, come on! What's the big idea, Eggman? You said Sonic was the one that wanted the emeralds. Why are you bargaining for one if all you want is to live in peace and make amends for your misdeeds? Days after you declared yourself supreme. Give him a minute. And emphasize you had no preference of whether you conquer here or Mobius. Give him a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Is this doesn't make any sense. How does that logic look? Take your time, Nucky. We believe in you. Uh, no more interruptions! Does anyone smell old bacon burning? Here's the deal, Sonic. Either you hand over the Chaos Emerald, or I detonate big old Pompey and turn your little friends to dust. You have ten seconds to... Sure. Wow, that was really video game boss exposed weak points stupid of me. Glad to see you guys are... You right. think? You, uh, you still haven't taken your meds today, huh? Let's go home! I got a list of fun activities we can try from this website I found called Urban Dictionary! Code Rose? What? I don't think that was <laughs> Urban Dictionary. I think Screw that may have been Project Melody's overall, like, erotic fan novels. I got it! You lied to me again, didn't you? No. Don't ask me how I know that. I just wow, I was way off. Sorry about that. Give me another second. I'll figure this out. Oh, for the level. Of course he tricked you! You stinky, evil, lying, fat crack! Hey, come on. I'm not fat. Knuckle sandwich. Knuckle sandwich. Time for Bumpty Dumpty to have a great fall. That takes Smash. care of that. So, uh, we cool? No more fighting? I make no promises. Even though Eggman was the one who induced chaos control, you still failed to stop him that night. And with me here, the Master Emerald is left completely unguarded on Angel Island. Master Emerald? Again, big deal back you home. Think? Probably not a big deal for you guys. But chaos control also brought the only dude who ever tried to seal the Master Emerald with us. So it should be fine for now. We can definitely make it back before someone else tries to steal it. Eggman may have had a small taste of victory that night, but that victory ain't gonna last. Count on it. <sighs> you better be right, Sonic. Sonic! I'll go looking for the emeralds on my own for a bit. You stay alert for Eggman's next attack. There's no telling what he's got planned for us. What? Yeah, considering how destructive this pumpy thing was, he's bound to follow up with an even more dangerous... I am your substitute teacher, here to educate you all on the wonders of Dr. Eggman. Get out! Yes, okay, not the smartest plan, huh, Eggman? Did you think everyone on this planet would be as gullible as Knuckles? My sense of judgment may have been influenced by recent events. Yeah, I definitely think the American school education system may have something to do with that, Eggman. You may have been negatively influenced. Alright, Joey, your thoughts on this episode? Yeah, Amy is definitely a psychotic one in this uh, series. She really is. Uh, my feelings on this, like, you definitely see, like, the gullible, like, not only the badass side of Knuckles that is combined from Archie comics, but you get uh, that of, like, the dumb buffoonery personality of Knuckles with it. And it's beautiful script writing. You, you 
Sonic stays trying to do his character because, like, he doesn't care about dating. Like, it's always been like that for the Sonic, you know? He doesn't care about dating anyone. He's just someone that is an adrenaline junkie. What? Uh, no, like, it doesn't bug me, but it makes me realize, like, they're missing out some of the best times in their years. It's, it's just how it is, you know, like. Well, that, well that's, like, more, I guess, of your, of your <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like. Like, like I, 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 don't, I don't think everybody, like, necessarily has, like, their patience with me. I think most people. But I think it varies from person to person. Yeah. Alright, we're moving on to episode four. We got episode four and then five. These episodes are really, really fast. Explains a lot, really. Um, let's move on. Sam said he'd be here at around five, so I need you all to be extra careful and stay out of sight until he leaves. Got that? Basic day at this place already, but yeah, no problem. I can be less obnoxious for a few hours. Chris's uncle will never know we're here. Hey, Grandpa, why don't Chris's mommy and daddy ever visit? Well, it's my name's not Grandpa, it's Chuck. It's complicated. Chris's father is the CEO of a big software company, and his mother is a Hollywood actress. Oh, so their schedules are too booked? No, they just suck. His father's fed up with the media they calling fucking him neglectful, suck. so he's trying to stop the bad press by being even more neglectful. Apparently, he thinks ignoring Chris will lead to everyone completely... I can say this about my parents. They were never too neglectful. They were just too overprotective. Forgot she has a son. I feel like there may have been nine unique months of her life that would ensure she wouldn't forget something like that. But at least his Uncle Sam is there for him. Even when he's busy with his own job as a race car driving police bounty hunter. He drives a car? He'll still find a way to make time for Chris whenever he needs it. No, oh, you gotta love them unkies. The I'm an unkie myself. Else are the stereotypes. Pause it right there! In the fourth dimension. Did that motherfucker call those the stereotypes again? After everything we've done for this family, what the f man? And I thought I'm I sure like, a Hispanic housekeeper with a masculine voice isn't exactly original. I, 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 and thought, an Asian I, butler who's a kung fu wannabe. But it's not like we ever crossed any serious lines, two. right, Tanaka? Well, there was that one episode of I, the original series in which I attempted some of the words. What? Still stinks that Chris has such scummy parents. I can't think of any parent who would ever treat their kid like trash. My mommy tried to drown me in chemical plant zone because she didn't like my voice. Don't make it about you, Tails. It's a dick move. Oh, okay, sorry. Well, uh, I can't think of another parent like that either. And again, the only mommy I got comment on that. Oh, yeah, Vanilla. She's the best. Hey, remember back on Mobius how Cream would gather a bunch of flowers and make little flower crowns for her? <laughs> that woman wound up with the sweetest little cinnamon roll this side of... Wait, where is Cream? <sighs> Just like back home, right, Cheese? Not even close. Your mom would hate these. Oh! Oh, well deserved. Well deserved. Ah! Ads! Why? Go away! I did. Oh, that interfered oh, with the I volume. Think, is it she's making more crowns because of homesickness? On a scale of one to ten, we don't need a scale. That's definitely what's going on here. Should we talk to her about this, or should we not? None of us have moms, so how are we supposed to understand how Cream feels? Don't disrespect long mm -hmm. like that. Well, she still needs to hide when Chris's uncle gets here. If he sees her, he might tell his police buddies and send us all to San Quintanamo trash. We should at least find a way to keep mm. her occupied so she doesn't leave her room. Isn't that the commission? Got any ideas, Sonic? Later! Yeah, well, f*** you too, you inconsiderate piece of- Ew, who am I kidding? You're so hot with your abandoned asshole! Uh, Amy, I think it might be time for the night night. Yeah, she just lost it! 
you seem pretty excited to see your uncle. Yeah, it feels like it's been forever since his last visit. Sure, he's probably not going to stay long because he has S-team stuff to deal with, but it's still going to be great to see him. You know, I heard a rumor that something actually outran the S-team the other night. Some kind of blue blurry thing. Know anything about that? A blue blurry thing, huh? <laughs> actually, yes. Let me tell you all about my new friend, Sonic the Hedgehog. Everyone shut up and listen to Chris talk about his new friend, Sonic the Hedgehog! Kids I'm visiting have your house tonight. Biggest huh? nouns. It's a rite of passage for new teachers here. They visit a student's home to get to know their family and see if they're hiding any dark secrets from the government. <laughs> I'm sure you and I will become close oh, to that that was everyone smooth. else if the school once we're done, and our bond will continue to oh, grow. Oh, that, that, that was smooth, though. It's like, it's not like you just gave away your entire purpose while you're there in the first place. Uh, I'll just see you tonight, Chris. Bad, Stuart. Bad. You do not do that. Grandpa, we got a situation! Have you changed yet? All this just for that NASCAR reject? Doesn't this seem like a bit much? Actually, I only needed you to change so you wouldn't wear anything covered in yellow fox fur. Hey, you see an animal lie on their back, you have to give them a belly rub. Look it up. It's it, That's the law. That's the law. So, my teacher kind of invited himself over today, and we need to make sure the others stay hidden when he gets here, too. Hmm. You know, this whole situation is starting to sound like the plot of one of those alien buddy movies. Big important people visit the main character's house, which risks exposing their alien friend. Though in those movies, the alien would ignore the plan to hide completely and do something silly in plain sight. I swear to science Christ if that's actually going on behind me. <laughs> Ah, uh, my dude, it is. I am acknowledging this decoration's existence, yet I'm choosing not to question its origin. <laughs> Great, what are you doing? Someone could have seen you. I wanted to help decorate. My mom always said I'm the most artsiest bunny in the whole Sega first, so I thought I could make your house look Sega pretty verse. for your uncle. Don't adorable. reject the girl's art, man. Trust me, it ain't a good day to give a criticism. Yeah, am I right, T-Dog? Yeah, she you punted you like a system. soccer ball. How do you refrain from restricting Miss Cream's artistic freedom, Master Chris? Those who bring her turmoil shall suffer a terrible fate. Okay, how long? Full time. And you never bothered to tell me you knew? You didn't seem to want me to know. Now that's a butler! Not to my knowledge. And I haven't told a soul myself should that put your mind at ease. <sighs> it does. Thank you so much. It also appears Miss Cream and Sea Fizzle have departed. Not at <laughs> on his way here and are doing silly stuff in plain sight! We gotta find them! Why, certainly... Oh, wow, it sounds like he's having I a panic attack. My search post haste, and I trust our compatriots will follow suit. You handled a code rose all by yourself? Yes, I did. It was not pleasant. Cool. Oh! Oh, no, left a few hours oh, no Tails! What did she do? Consider a departure, if you ask me. Oh! Ever the stitches so across the ear! And he dashed You look like a Frankenstein! Hairless. Gotta go back. Whoa! Yeah! These are sure to keep that adorable little smile on Cream's face going for weeks! Don't you worry, kiddo. We'll get you back to vanilla in no time. Oh. I'm so considerate! God dang it, not again! Probably have to turn it back up again. Yeah, I know. You two, you and your disgusting ads. Why? I'm not a government spy. And I am not hiding anything from the government. Oh, you're good. Chris, I'm ready to dive deep into your personal space. Damn it! Of course we did. Oh my Our God, time. no. We're so doomed. Hey, for nights of the round sake, you are so, so horrible at your job, you my to dude. Stay in the room for now? Most of the house is inaccessible at the moment. What? Why? Hey, Cremo, you ever doing something silly in plain sight? Oh my gosh, I was just feeling the urge to do something silly in plain sight. Don't do it! I don't know, I see a button. Buttons do silly stuff, right? Give me a camera and a it. coffee mug, I got a dope idea for a meme! Lower. I said it. I don't regret it. I said I don't regret it one bit. Chow's gonna end up only uploading that to TikTok almost immediately. You know I'm not wrong. Okay, Grandpa. Stop calling me Grandpa. Hey, hello. What's going on? 
Time to commence operation. I'm gonna plant a microphone. Are you sure he oh, will find us here? You're completely no. subtle on that, pal. You're, you're being Jamie. completely he subtle. Don't say the truth. <laughs> nothing! I was, I was doing nothing! I'm not doing things! Oh, look, a painting! How painty! I think he saw us. Yeah, yes, focus on the painting. Quick, nothing else. The window, make a break for it. Oh, hey, it's on it. It's not like you didn't turn on the sound device. Those look a lot more like the flowers from our whole planet on the other side of the universe, which we call. Uh, I mean, I am Red Bunny! Moo! <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, Mage I should inform you that the events transpiring over here are quite uninteresting, and you have no need to witness them. Roger that. I'll just keep looking at this painting then. You're the man, T Dog! <laughs> That that is an accurate uh, overall. That, that is accurate. That is an accurate reaction. All right, I'll buy that for now, but only for the sake of this visit. Once everyone leaves, it's back to the gibberish until you prove to me those really are toys. Does this mean I get to do that thing with the batteries? Hooray! We have found the Thank you with the, the batteries. Queen. Just stay in toy mode for Thank a little while. The... My uncle will be here any minute, and if he sees. Q's 80 show in three seconds. Sam Speed is in the house! Hey, what's going on, fam? Uncle Sam! Come on in! This is my teacher, by the way. Hi there, Mr. Stewart. Nice to meet you. Mr. Stewart, huh? You got a first name? I do not. Right on, makes it easy to remember. Hey, oh, Q group laughter. <laughs> Yo, Chris, what's with Yeah, this money? guy's definitely outdated. He's got that 80 slash 70 vibe, so it's like. A real thing? Kid, uh, like. Teenage shows. Where's with the S team going? Oh, things have been really kicking in the high gear lately. Crooks have been taking a lot more initiative since that egg dude showed up, and we're being sent on more missions than ever. Your uncle is taking on the absolute worst of the worst out there. The speed limit is 35 miles an hour, scumbag! What the hell makes you think 32 is good enough? Will you pull me over for not breaking the speed limit? I need a goddamn challenge! Now get back in the car, run over an old lady or two, and give me the chase of my motherfucking dream! He did not comply, so I just arrested him for having a mohawk in the 2020s. So yeah, that that is a crime. But that is a crime in the right comparison to the feet I faced the other night. There I was, racing down an empty highway at mock speed when all of a sudden that, that was classy and sassy in the 90s and in uh, 2008. They'll never believe you. Yeah, that's right. I can move so fast I can talk during freeze frames. That's a marxy level bullshit right there. <laughs> ha! Love it. <laughs> So yeah, super fast talking blue hedgehog thing outran my car. You believe me, right? Nope. Nah. -uh. I do not. Were we talking about a hedgehog? Everything you said was drowned out by the sound of this painting. Oh, that's a real shame. If anyone, I was hoping my own family would believe me when I told them I saw. <laughs> Never. <laughs> <laughs> you all saw it, right? Tell me you saw it. So painty. It was right there. Little boy blue bill from that big old branch boy. You can tell I'm serious because I use alliteration. Well, at least I'm not the only one going bad shit insane today. Are you, why do you think I'm crazy? I'm not yes. crazy. I'm not even famous enough to be crazy. That's my sister's department. Oh, right. <laughs> how is mom? No idea. Haven't heard from her in, uh, let's see, two, three, five, five. Yeah, five years. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, I'm used to it. Then again, her never being around may be a blessing in disguise. I always hear my friends whine about how overprotective and strict their moms are. So maybe I'm better off without her. Maybe everyone would be no. better off without their mom. Moms suck. AMAC, no. all moms are cut. Now remember, Cream, whenever you don't you have anything done, nice did to it say, now, son. don't say anything at all. But if someone ever badmouths your mother... Show no mercy! Throw your morals out the window and eviscerate that son of a bitch! Verbally. Oh. <laughs> I mean, <Word> verbally. <laughs> Make mommy proud, sweetie. Hey, hey. Chocola, can I see you in the kitchen for just a moment? Rage mode activated. If people say I have a sailor mouth. People say I have a sailor mouth, but that came from a freaking five-year-old. For the record, I was going to say something too, but uh... She yeah. said enough. 
Pretty sure nothing's gonna top that. Damn, girl, I didn't even know Thank you could you. do that with a codfish. Thank you. Thank you so You're much. You're hallucinating. <laughs> this is all hallucination. You took words right out of my mouth. None of that actually happened. I believe you. Anyone else smelling nice. something burning? <laughs> No, and thank God I vacuum earlier today, cause uh... you know. Call the fire I department. could probably convince a certain hedgehog to have a real race with you someday if you promise to keep this a secret. Oh, keep what a secret! I have Classic no idea black what male. you're talking about. Wink, wink, and cue group laughter. <laughs> <laughs> and tuning back into the conversation, I certainly hope I didn't miss anything during my big painting stare off. Of course, if I did, my microphone would have recorded everything that happened in this room. Uh, just a shame I didn't turn it on when I got here. Damn it! <laughs> See you, Chris. I'll get into your goodies some other time. Oh no, I did it again. Bad Stuart. Is anyone gonna do something about that fire? Hey kid, your gram said we don't have to hide from Mela and Tanaka anymore. Does that mean I can finally build a chili dog fort, kid? A chili dog fort. What's going on, bud? You know what? It makes sense with right. Sonic. I really hurt Cream today. I said people might be better off without their mothers. But I had no idea Cream had one. Most people do, from what I hear. Everything I said was out of the pain I've gone through with my family, but I should have considered the pain Cream's going through right now. Hmm. She'll probably never speak to me again. Chris, I made this for you! Aww. This crown is made specially for the nicest boy in the planet! Wow. Oh, that so melts you're my not heart. Mad about what I said earlier? What you say? I think I blacked out when I was pretending to be a toy and don't remember much of what happened today. Just a deep, unrelenting darkness. But that crown looks so good on you! <laughs> hey, Ella! I made a crown for you! People today. say I have also issues with rage. I think Cream has it worse. Oh, sweetie, thank you! And that tongue can apologize to my face if he really means it! Thank you, six year old attention span. You know, even if your mom doesn't care, six I'd say everyone six year olds are horrifying. back for you, kid. Cream included. Thanks, Sonic. So you think she'll be okay? That girl is literally the incarnation of purity. She's gonna be I, just. I wouldn't fine. say purity. Is this the one that turns rage, out? Yeah, yeah, I say pure rage. Yeah, I have a nice You know what? You know what? That's accurate. Okay, Joey, your thoughts on this one? Uh, the bunny girl, you mean? The crazy girl, the pink. The pink one, or the one with the rabbit ears? Uh, the pink one. The pink one again? Yeah. She, uh... Brutalized tails? Yeah. And when, and when she randomly got, like, really cockeyed. Yeah. What about the scene with Cream, her literally just mouthing off so hard? So, not about that. I didn't feel like, I didn't realize she had such trouble with catching And she's a six-year-old. Cream the rabbit app is like... She... She probably said every curse word in the English dictionary at least once without repeating. Even I'm not that good of... I, even I don't have that a vocabulary like that one. Um, says a lot. So, my thoughts on episode four... Six years old are terrifying, and rightfully so. Uh, as far as Amy, like, literally... Be, uh, Literally just going for, like, a glory kill all over Tails' head. Um, I think you need to see a Dr. Tails. I think you may have a little bit of brain damage there. Um, 
amongst other things. The doll ended up showing up as well in the third one. I forgot to mention that one. Um, truly, like, that doll is horrifying. Uh, but here in the fourth episode, I would have to say, like, the comedy was hit or miss. I, I'm going to be real. Like, it was more like violent, over-the-top comedy. And that that that's not really funny to me, but... You know, I can see where it's funny to other people. We're moving on to episode five. This is the last episode that the Roland Nolan came out with. To date. Or is it? Hold on. Like, yeah, it is. So, episode six hasn't come out yet. And I'm going to be real. Uh, when are we expecting episode six, Roland Nolan? Oh, wow, it is out. Ooh, I missed it. It's not on the playlist. We got six episodes instead of five. We're going to have to watch that next after episode five. Bonus episode! Hi, mister. Have you seen... I wish I had a woman that reached inside of me. Pull something and out. That's why what you just witnessed is not worth sharing with the police or any legal guardian. Got it, little guy? <laughs> anyway, my name's Albert Butler. I'm the groundskeeper here at Diamond Stadium. Used to be called Alfred Butler, but I had it changed because I was sick of all the Batman jokes. Who's Batman? Wow, I, I thought I'd be relieved hearing someone say that, but no. I'm actually kind of insulted. <laughs> How dare you? Hey, wait, I know you. You're the guy who was waving to me while I was flying over the stadium. <laughs> yeah, sorry for almost killing you. I promise that wasn't intentional. That was you? Holy smokes! I never would have guessed! But why would you fly that thing all the way out here? Hmm, well, it's a pretty long story. So maybe it's best I answer your question with a flashback. Flashback? How is that supposed to work? Welcome to the Thorndike Grim That's Grim um, Jack's voice actor of oh Grim Jack. What happened to Slash the stadium? What did I move? Jack of, what did you uh, do not to Grim Jack, but Grim Jack of uh, the Schmuck Our Squad. Our story begins as many great stories do with everyone's bestest friend. TV! I know Grim Jack is way too much. I've done enough for you little shits. So I say you do something for me for a change. I want you to dance, dance. Dance, puppet! He's very terrifying. Yup, enjoy the nightmares, buddy. Hey, who's ready for food? I got food, food time, food! Wow, thanks, Ella. Oh, you should give your thanks to little Amy for this one. This kid's got a real knack for cooking. I think we might be looking at the next insert notable celebrity chef name here. Here. I even got to use my own special ingredients for Sonic's pie. Oh, no. No! You two, why? Stop it with the ads! The ad apocalypse is here! No! No, no, you don't want that one! Hands off! Ooh. Our purple overlord! He's trapped in the loud, static realm of audiovisual violation! And I didn't get to finish my dance for him! Where's Rick Ryan? Who did it? Who hurt her? Who do I gotta punch? Uh. Tails, I guess? He was knocked into the TV and now we don't have a signal. What kind of monster am I become? Oh. Well, if it's a TV issue, it's probably just Eggman. He used to cut our cable all the time back home for system giggles. So maybe he's getting back into some old habits. Somebody get that kid That's some ice joke, cream. Right? Considering everything I've seen Eggman do, he doesn't seem like the type to resort to some- Mrs. John, I got a message for you, Mrs. Mitchell. Two more and we get a mean bean coupon. By the way, this dude usually rigs his messages with explosives, so might wanna... Hello, Mr. TV. I don't feel like pressing the button. Can you please thank you? All right, let's cut right to the chase. Yes, I cut your cable once again. I'll tell her... Bastard! This time around, behold! Say hello to E90 Super Sweeper. 
this bad boy is currently munching on all the tasty satellites floating above the stratosphere. You're not the only one losing their TV privileges today, Sonic. <laughs> Well, that's really put you know the, the suck on the things. The restoring the world's cable is one chaos emerald. Please deliver the payment at your earliest convenience. In the meantime, I'll be entertaining the people of Earth with a collection of programs everyone appreciates. Insurance commercial starring over you, son, funny mascot. <laughs> you got. <laughs> Actually, that's not as far fetched as it sounds. Tornado time! Come on, Tails! <laughs> so, uh, I know we're supposed to be enemies and steps, but I haven't had much to eat today. Yes, robots can eat, and I am a robot, don't question it. Can I grab a snack before I go? You like pie? <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet, that super sweeper. Yeah! Strong beer! Yeah! <laughs> No, planes can't fly above the stratosphere. A robot. That was a robot. What? Uh, animatronic. Yes, we're gonna watch episode six. It's gonna be a bonus episode, by the way. But uh. I didn't see your message earlier. Sorry. But, uh, yeah, um... That thing is an animatronic robot. Imagine a robot with an animatronic skin over it. That's what that thing is. Just really, really, really advanced. Let's continue, alright, Joey? Pilot, and you didn't know planes can't fly above the stratosphere. I uh, know. No, I did not. Back to the mansion. Oh, and it's nighttime now. And he's supposed hey, to be a genius. Do we have a new plan ready to go yet? I'm worried the longer we take stopping Super Sweeper, the worse of an effect those commercials will have on the others. <laughs> we are farmers. What are you from wearing? Best. Best. Honestly, Amy doesn't sound all that different to me. Well, it's not our plan of attack that needs to change, Grandpa. Not your grandpa? It's the tornado. Its engine just isn't strong enough to reach an altitude that high. I could upgrade the engine to have it run on a stronger power source. But the only thing we have that's strong enough to do the job is the Chaos Emerald. Don't you dare take that emerald away from me, you two-tailed freak! Uh, I mean, why did you say that like it's a bad thing? I, I, I never think that kid's using smoking an emerald emeralds. I know I have. Once. Didn't go well. I wanna fly. <laughs> and I was so close to reaching the highest of all the heavens. Not sure why I didn't ask this when you were on fire or had that hammer pierced through your skull, but how? Your guess is as good as mine, kid. I've been barking up that tree for years and he still hasn't told me shit. He's that committed bark, bark, to protecting bark, the secret bark, of his bark, immortality? Bark, no, question, he just conveniently question, doesn't question, need answer. someone asks him about it. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I was dozing off. Anyway, the plane exploded because the emerald was channeling too much energy into the engine. If we want to fly on emerald power, we need to add a bigger engine that could burn off all that excess energy. But the tornado isn't strong enough to carry an engine that big. Then why don't we build a new tornado? A bigger, faster, one-of-a-kind, limited-edition, anime-exclusive tornado. Oh? No! Not the ads again! The ad apocalypse! Why? I'm a scientist! And what's a scientist? Without a secret laboratory! This is perfect! We can build a tornado! Cue the Dexter Laboratory thing! Oh, is that a challenge? No, it's just an estimation. I don't think it's a good idea to make a competition out of this. We gotta save TV after all. Okay, Respect. what's your deal? Are you supposed to be smart or dumb? You can't be both, so pick the up. Plan yes. Plan. Grandpa, would you care to do the honor? Still not your grandpa! Anyway, here you go. Oh. 
Are you supposed to be smart of them? The answer is yes. Don't ruin the moment. Allow me to introduce Tornado X. Eh, that name sucks. All you did was slap an X at the end of what we called the old plane. Not creative at all, just lazy. Ow. Ah. Uh, X Tornado? Perfect! Now let's go save television. Yay! X Tornado? Stop being on the ground now. I wanna fly so I can reach the highest of all the heavens. You're really okay with letting your grandson tag along for a fight at the edge of space? In an untested plane? Oh, don't worry. I convinced Tails to add seatbelts this time. The f*** are seatbelts? Dr. Eggman, it appears ah. Sonic is approaching E-90 Super Sweeper in a sick new aircraft. No, oh, it looks just like a red dot. Well, it's about time. I did an entire day after launching my attack, no less. I thought you said he left right after you delivered the message, Bokoon. Hello? Why happy to the pie? I thought... Oh, right. I forgot to do the splody thing with Mr. TV. Click. Super Sweeper, increase altitude. <laughs> Let's see how high this new toy of this can go. Oh, we'll take out the vacuum first. High. Ready, Sonic? You know it. Jump. Huh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No. Uh, Tails, think we can get a do-over on that entrance? I better leave in here. Tails. Oh, don't feel bad, Sonic. I thought that entrance was perfect. Eat up, Super Sweeper! Huh? <laughs> oh, oh, somebody's gonna put this up. Don't worry, buddy! Wait, no, 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 no! Come on! Bigger bullets. Now let's finish this with a ring and head home. Uh, Tails? I don't think we should be flying this thing much farther out into space. Why not? With the Chaos Emerald, we can fly as far as you want. Yeah, that's not what I'm worried about. Oh, is it the no Please. oxygen thing? That's never been a problem for us. He's all good out there. Also not my... Oh, okay, I'll have questions <sighs> about that later. And the lack of gravity isn't an issue either, since we just choose to ignore it. Chris, I need those questions answered now, please. Look, there's no need to worry, Chris. None of the obstacles your people usually deal with in space are enough to stop Sonic. Even the freezing temperatures? Except the freezing temperatures. All right. <laughs> Seriously, dude, smart or dumb, pick one. I'm getting so serious! <laughs> I need school bus flashbacks! Oh, weapons online! Eliminate the enemy aircraft at once! <laughs> the hatch is frozen shut, too! I can't release the ring! Well, what are we supposed to do now that the laws of physics finally caught up with you guys? Oh! I got it! Attach the ring to the yellow wire under my seat. It'll channel the energy into the engine, and Sonic can absorb its power from the fumes. So even the fumes aren't affected by the lack of gravity? Mass off! Oh, right. <sighs> <laughs> we now return oh. to your regularly scheduled Cheat program. Code activated. Well now. <sighs> Time to start planning threat number 29. Say, it what do you mean, threat number 25? In this year after year and never decide to make them funny. I'm oh, no, it's Gecko. Gecko. I'm pretty sure he's the one starting all this. Wait, what the fuck? While we emerged victorious and the world's television service was restored, State and Square service was still down for some reason. The mystery deepened even further. And with Sonic needing time to recover from being a head sickle, it was up to me to embark on a new quest in my brand new X-Tornado to save television. And that quest led me to... <laughs> Flashback's over. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, favor, subscribe, and go to the Patreons. Same. You know, all I asked was what brought you to the stadium. Could have saved a bunch of time by just saying you were looking into the cable outage. I didn't need an in-depth backstory for your fancy plane. I like that story. And I didn't mean to fly over the stadium. I was heading for the cable company across the street. But then the Chaos Emerald started acting up and I lost control. Oh, that's a Chaos Emerald? Well, little fella, you should have led with that from the start. Oh my god, no, please don't do that thing with it! Oh, it's just another Chaos Emerald. Chaos Emerald! Yeah, I found it here a few nights back. Now do I think about it, if these things affect electric thingamajigs as much as you say they do, maybe this one is what's been messing with the cave? <laughs>
Uh oh, somebody opened the portal to Kingdom Hearts. Ow. Oh. Nothing bad. We will probably go shouldn't right have held the emeralds that close together for so long. That tends to happen when. You know, I should probably get that thing out of here before Eggman. Too late, Hightail! Oh no, um, Time to play ball. You seem oddly prepared for a battle at a baseball stadium. What? You think I knew there'd be an emerald here? No! Me and the boys were already in town when we saw that light. Looking for a new place to practice before the season starts. But Uncle Iggy, we don't want to play this stupid game. I will let you rot in the basement playing video games all day. This is good for you! Anyways, uh... Get Fuck some you, video games are awesome. Oh yeah! Thanks for protecting me, kid. You're a real hero. <laughs> One down. Now I assume you won't let me take that other emerald without a fight, right, Tail? <laughs> Doesn't this kid know how to spin dash and wreck my robots like Sonic? What the hell happened to him? He's a kid. Summer Light, heard the scream. You're welcome. Yay, Knuckles! Uh, well, at least one of you hasn't lost their touch. But you're too late! The Emerald is mine, and you're vastly outnumbered! I'm afraid you're wrong on the outnumbered part, Eggman. Don't worry. You'll be wrong about the Emerald part, too, real uh, soon. Hmm. Looks like your whole team is here to play ball now. You got that right! Now, how about we make things a little interesting? We are at a baseball stadium, after all. So let's settle this with a game right here and now. Our team against yours, and winner goes home with both emeralds. What do you say, Eggman? Nah, 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 nah. I got an emerald. <laughs> Typical. So we're not going to play baseball? Do you really think Eggman would have given us the emerald if we won? Wow, okay, that's a good point. Oh, come on! It would have been awesome! Just imagine the cartoony mayhem of you guys- It ain't happening, Chuck. Face it, no one here wants to play ball. Not even I'll the play. robots. Watch the child get hit in the face. Yeah, who am I kidding? This is minute. stupid. Let's trash these fools. Hold on, you never let me oh, instead the robot. Nice. Okay. That was fun. Um Before we move on to episode six. Uh let, let, hold on, like before we continue with episode six, Joey, what were what did you think of episode five? You love the ending. Well, you are the sport. Well, you are the wrestler guy. So, you you are the guy that likes wrestling a lot. So, oh, I like the, uh, the ending where he was where he said no, he wasn't gonna play for the end. That's not gonna be Oh, okay, yeah. No, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, my thoughts on this episode. I, uh, I feel, like, so called out with the robots. Uh, I don't like sports. I was never a sports kid. Um, I feel their pain. I understand why. And I don't blame them. And that's why I relate with them. No, I never liked sports. I was a person that liked cartoons, video games, comic books, action figures. I was a nerd. And I'm proud of that. I am very proud of being a nerd. I'm the nerdiest of nerds. Fight me. I dare you. Let's get on to episode six. I'm the king of nerds. And nobody can tell me otherwise. How's it going, boys? Having fun with today's arch assignment? Yeah, but I could have sworn we were supposed to have history this period. You sure you didn't read the schedule wrong? Don't worry about it, Chris's friend. Chris's friend? Do you not know my name? Why, Chris, is that an emerald? What are you 
usual thing for a boy your age to want in life. <laughs> well, you know, I'm He's Emerald obsessed. Hmm? Oh, turn it back up. Got it. Come on! Why is Chris the only one who gets to play hooky? And with that, my mission finally nears its end. Our time together may be short, Chris, but I can't keep you all to myself. It's only fair that I allow my dear friends to have their fun with you. Why am I still doing that? Huh, well, at least I won't have to worry about any further innuendos once they get to the factory. Oh, beach yeah, episode, okay. awesome. tricks on me it's the darndest thing no matter how many times i say no i still hear amy trying to invite me to go get killed by the ocean that and something else sounds off i i just can't figure out what that is the ocean isn't trying to kill you then why does it keep throwing itself onto the land trying to pull me in amy what do you call that a wave now this kill move has got to be I'm not taking any chances she's also made those scones you really like butterfucker made the green hell scout you know it finally replicated vanilla's recipe we're right there in the special zone today boy are you sure it's mom's recipe i had a couple earlier and i thought the taste kind of funny are you starting to hear death metal you mean that's not coming from the radio what have i done <laughs> what have i done all right, I guess I can make an exception this one time. Just promise you'll take your match before He's you high over ball. Shit, I didn't mean. What? Yep, used up the last of my medication yesterday. And it turns out they don't sell my prescription here on Earth. So, we're out of luck. Oh well, I guess we're just gonna have to move on without them. No more meds for this girl. You're looking at 100% unfiltered Amy Rose, baby. So you ready to Somebody try the beat with the battery? It's all in the so Somebody get the weed. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that wimp still hasn't gotten over his water no. phobia. Don't was, think he'll be joining no. us today. Sorry, guys. Were you serious yeah, about him I jumping mean, into the sun? Well, I mean, it's his loss. Uh, We're still gonna have a lot of fun at Emerald House. Yeah, right, Chris? somebody, Chris, Chris, no, somebody better call. Girl, just look at me. Don't get lost to the kaleidoscope land. Just follow my I, 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 I think the, uh, the I think the scones may work though. Stay with me. Stay away from the ball. You guys have fun. Hopefully, I won't have to stay at this hotel opening for too long. <sighs> Do I really have to go to this, Grandpa? Maybe it'd be better if we check Silky Heights and see if Mr. Stewart was right about an emerald being a- Representing the family might convince your father that you're actually worth something. Never mind, Silky Heights can wait! Don't rush to get there, right? I feel like they should have been here by now. Oh, wow. I have- uh, I think you can play- wow. This place really is beautiful! Sonic is totally missing out here. We could have had such a fun day today if he just got over his fear of water and nothing else. I can yeah, see it now. She's losing her After mind. After a fun day for looking about and doing all those fun urban dictionary activities, there we are. No, no, it's Project Melody's secret the sex diary. He takes my hand, looks me in the eye, and tells me right then and there. My dear sweet. Amy Rose. Stop kidding yourself. You know damn well why I bailed on you. What? N no. I think you're supposed to say something more along the lines of, I'm ready for butt stuff. Or, or have you ever heard of bore? Or the safe word is... Amy? Oh, come on! Say it! You know you want to! Do I? Or more importantly, do you? I'm not really having a romantic fantasy right now, am I? Well, to be fair, it started out as a romantic fantasy, but... <laughs> then reality Anyway, your conscience wants to have a word with you. What? I thought he suppressed that bitch years ago! He's all yours, boss! Don't you dare 
bring me anywhere near. Yo. Oh my oh. gosh! Hi! Long time no listen! You're... You're looking good! Heard you made Sonic jump into the sun this time. No, I had nothing to do with that! He did it because he hates water! He doesn't want to be anywhere near water, so he went to the wet place where water can't hurt him! Amy, you know what scared him away. It's the same thing that always scares him away. And now that you've used up the last of your medication, do you really think he'd want to be anywhere near you if you're gonna keep going overboard with him? Overboard? That's ridiculous! I would never go overboard with Sonic! You spent six months studying witchcraft in Mystic Haunt Zone and channeled the unholiest magic in the Segaverse into a spell you thought would force Sonic to fall for you. Now remind me again, what did your spell end up creating instead? Hey, hey, hey! No! Don't go blaming me for that spell going wrong! We all know it was Tails' fault! Why else would it look like him? Can you feel the sunshine? Do you want him to like you? That would be the ideal outcome. Then try something different. Try to leave an impression on him that doesn't rely on any kinky fetishes. Otherwise, he won't want anything to do with you. You don't have a problem with trying some of that kinky stuff, right? You're hopeless. I'm just saying. We had fantasy Sonic here a moment ago. Time to wake up. Please tell me how long that invisible dick is! Uh, <laughs> what a crazy dream! Yep, definitely a dream! <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a dream, nothing else. Maybe I should try something different. Perhaps I could... Give him a present? An ordinary E for everyone present? Maybe a souvenir from the beach? No, who are we kidding? Nice. He hates the beach. He won't go anywhere near the ocean as long as he can't swim. I made this to help you swim. Reaction noise? Here, it's a lucky charm just like mine. Wear this in the water and my love for you will keep you afloat for hours on end. That's not how buoyancy Aww. works. What the f is wrong That's with sweet. you? Oh, and she I'm chose just violence. now realizing our hands are so much bigger than humans. There's no way this is gonna fit on Sonic's wrist. Hey, Amy, what you got there? Cream? N nothing. <laughs> this is nothing. Don't let me do it. It's nothing for you to. The cream psychotic eyes have been unleashed. You feeling okay? Okay. Well, yes, I feel just getting never felt better. Top of the world, 100% percent not scratched. As rank A, okay, rest skills. I mean, a, 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 rabbit's only crazy when she's high. Cool. Hey, what happened to your toes? Okay, you're definitely tripping too hard. My toes are right here. Where the f are my toes? She's yelling at me. She just got the toe. It's all gonna pass. She's gonna be okay. She doesn't know we used up all the bullets. Nobody has to know. Nobody has to know. Wow. I didn't think a trip to the beach would stress everyone out so much. Maybe we should have gone to that hotel opening with Chris. It looks like they're having a lot of fun over there. I mean, check out the fireworks. Oh, those aren't fireworks. Uh, Thank you all for coming today's Wow, program. that's not a typical finish. Closing. Had a good run, but it's time to look to the future. Get to work, boys! I think Capcom is going to sue Sega for stealing the Medcar helmet. He's building a theme park? You know it! Welcome to Eggman Land, the eggiest place on Earth! Oh, it's you. I take it this means Sonic is somewhere nearby? Sonic will not be joining us today, you fiend. Instead, you find yourself face to face with the Thorndike family's mightiest protector for endangering the life of young Master Chris. I shall unleash unto you all my fury! Thorndike's mightiest protector, my ass! I've buried more bodies for this family than you've got strands of hair on your head! your place, bitch! I'm sorry, you've done what for my family? Oh, there's no need to fight, dear guest. You're at Eggman Land. Come, sit down, enjoy yourselves. Buy a $15 pretzel shaped like my head. I can even get you a fast pass for your mountain if you... What the f*** is that? Incoming! Re-entry the bitch. Eggman Land? Again? <sighs> Alright, fine, let's just get this over with. Holy crap, he really jumped into the sun. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Fight!
the, the, and now those the part where you robots were having the helmets on their head. So you came here all the way from the sun. That's quite a long journey, Sonic. No wonder you look so filthy. And those were construction Someone's robots. The moment the what tentacle fetish is right there. That spooky drowning music. Let's bring out as much PTSD as we can here. <laughs> oh, never mind. Octoron, why are you Mode disengaged. Thanks, baby. Go, go fast, go, go fast, go, go fast. Ring a ding, ring time. <laughs> Oh, uh, come on, man. That's not cool. Woo! Boy, that was a lot of fun. So fun, in fact, that my anxiety over being near the ocean has almost completely diminished. Oh, no, my daddy's back home! Someone help me! Hey, Sonic, want to ride back to the mansion? Thank you, someone! I'll be right there. Well, uh, bots destroyed, the day is saved, uh... Bye. Uh, hey! Oh, uh, sorry, in a rush. Got a lot of stuff to do and don't have time for it. I got you a bracelet! Aww. Is this a trap? It's gotta be a trap. There's no way that's really a bracelet. You You're expect too me to put paranoid. that somewhere else, don't you? What? No, it's a bracelet! It's only meant to be a bracelet. Plus, it's magic. It can keep you from drowning. Oh, shit, grab the kite! You're... You're serious? Not a trap. Mm hmm. Whoa! Hey, you get back here and get on Sonic's first right now, Mister. You both forgot. Oh, he had a backup plan. You? Possibly. <sighs> Whatever. That's a first. Two, fight! All right, bring it on. Wakey, wakey, over here, Snakey. Jump, jump. Whoop, whoop, whoop. But I... I tried something different. I didn't have any kinks in mind. I tried to change. And... Oh. <laughs> hey, Kill! That's it, girl! Holy Lay down the smash! Oh dear, huh? I suppose I may have pressed the wrong nerve here. I should probably take my leave before this gets out of hand. This reminds me of Rachel. When she literally the gave the show. Chaos Prince the boot so hard, he was crying like a bitch. So someone's been on Urban Dictionary. BOOM! Amy? That makes me feel better. Amy! Amy! Wake up, you Oh, hey, what's up? How do you sleep? Did he almost die? What were the cover? Can I have your clothes when you do die? You have nice clothes, and she's awesome! What happened? You exploded! I did? Shit, I thought I already used up all my leftover magic from Mystic Han. Wait, where's Sonic? He bounced, peace out, he bounced. But he's cool, just worked out and not swimming. Oh, thank chaos, that's such a really... Swimming? Yeah, you took a water nut off exploding, so Sonic jumped in, pulled you out, had a panic attack, and gotta go fast out of here. Cheese me saw it all. And then, holy what, cheese? Did you did you see that cheese that Sonic that that song did, 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 he broke? That really happened? So put a glass of wine, is it? Whatever you do, protect the red balls of death. You'll be banished to an early resurrection. <laughs> oh no, he had one of his cones. <laughs> and then you ran out to chase after a UFO. Oh, they're both high as balls. balls. Sonic dove into the water to save me? I, I think we may be coming down. <laughs> but Amy is going high. I got you now, Sonic! You will be mine! Sonic me forever, baby! <laughs> Not if Sally somehow gets in the picture. Uh, what was in those scones? <laughs> My thoughts exactly. What? Her highest yeah. stop.
Peter Wilson. You may have cursed me with the sneezes, but you didn't take anyone today. I win this round. Definitely made a better call going to Emerald Coast instead of... Wait, what was the other place we were supposed to check out? Where the f*** is he? Strictly After it. that Emerald Tip today, right? I thought the Hedgehog was supposed to be fast. So what the f*** is taking him so long? You should never keep uh, a lady waiting. What? There's a... Uh... Someone standing in the trap right now. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, do the thing. Mutant Hedgehog, by the authority of the President of the United States, you are hereby ordered to come with us and serve as his little fluffy angel. Hold up, you're not the Hedgehog. You don't say. Nice. Well, sorry to disappoint you, hun. But since I have your attention, I might as well ask. How did you know Sonic and his friends were looking for the Chaos Emeralds? Furthermore, got any idea how many they've found so far? Well, we'd be inclined to answer your questions, but if it's all the same to you, we have a question of our own. I'm all ears. Why do you have to? Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Okay, episode six, finally done. Joey, your thoughts. I concur. It just literally crammed everything all together at once. And... I loved it. So, this was the final episode made by the Roland Nolan. Of the Sonic, like... Obviously, X Bridge series. I genuinely enjoyed this series. I want him to make more. Of course, like, I, d I don't want him to stop. Where's episode 7, Roland Nolan? Where's episode 7? I need episode 7. So does Joey. Wouldn't you agree, Joey? We need episode 7? Yeah. Get on that. Well, anyways. Yeah, we need episode 7. Where's episode 7, Roland Nolan? Give us episode 7! We need it! The Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie's coming out, and you're missing out. What? Do it faster! Alright, so I've been Commander er, D, and I'm glad that I commanded your nuts, everyone, to watch this live stream of a reaction. Joey, anything you have to say before we literally hit the old Galactic Dusty Trail? Thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, sub. Donate, you know, whole nine yards. It helps me, helps Joey, helps everything, helps the content. I'll see y'all on the next planet. Maybe next time I'll have Project Melly sucking my giant D. I'm outie. Say goodbye, Joey. <laughs> good night, everyone, or good morning, or afternoon, wherever you are on planet Earth. Project Melody, give me a call. We'll have a ball.